In 2017, the new town of East Kilbride celebrates its 70th birthday, but the village of East Kilbride has been around for a lot longer than that. One of my earliest memories of East Kilbride is the, the old village. We brought up in the old village. East Kilbride was a typical Scottish village, growing slowly but surely until by the Second World War had a population of about 900 people. At the end of the war in 1946, the government decided it had to do something about the horrendous overcrowding in British cities. The answer was new towns. On the 6th of May, 1947, East Kilbride was designated Scotland's first new town. East Kilbride Development Corporation was set up to design and manage the building of what was to be Scotland's first new 20th century community. And this is where it all started, the ancient medieval castle of Torrance House. This is where East Kilbride Development Corporation set up shop in the 1940s. All the design and planning of the new town was carried out here, truly a case of the old giving birth to the new. So where do you put what was to become Scotland's fifth largest town? Well, East Kilbride was ideal. There were lots of green places in which to build the houses and excellent train links had already been established. From a wee village to what it is today, you know, what I liked about it was a lot of them came from Glasgow, get new houses, and we had a lot of new friends in the schools. I remember one of the girls in my class saying, it's great, we've got, we've got a bath now. From the late 1940s, thousands of people moved from the industrial slums of Glasgow to make a new life in East Kilbride. It was Drumchapel, Castle Milk or East Kilbride was the offers and we got East Kilbride. 61 years ago I came here as overspill from Glasgow, uh, from Deniston in Glasgow where we lived in a room and kitchen and we moved into what was termed a five stroke six apartment house and it was absolutely wonderful. The space we had, the freedom we had. In Glasgow, we had trams at the top of the street and trains at the bottom of the street. So to come to East Kilbride, it was so quiet. Uh, you could hear the birds. <laughs> oh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I mean, the part was great. You know, the Glasgow part. I don't matter where you go in the world, you can't beat the old Glasgow part, you know. In some areas of Glasgow, over three quarters of the houses were deemed not fit for human habitation. So you can imagine how fantastic it was to come to a brand new house of your very own, which had an inside toilet, a bathroom, electricity, and access to the wonderful green spaces around it. There was so much room to play, and within two minutes of our house, we were in the countryside. It was just a, a magic time. It was just a wonderful place to grow up. The earliest memory of East Kilbride, um, sweet rationing. We, we could only get a penny worth or tops worth of sweets uh, from Johnny LaRocca. And I saved up a whole shilling to spend when sweet rationing was abandoned in the 1950s. And I made myself sick. 